Okay, I thought I'd make a video of my electrolysis tank, also known as a spooch tank. I don't know if this will be helpful for anyone, but I thought I'd share. Maybe somebody will get an idea from it or be able to improve on the idea. But uh, after uh, the reading I did or whatever, this is what I've come up with. I uh, took a big green bin, as you can see, filled it with water. Of course, the water is going to push the sides of that bin out because it's a lot weaker. So I built a frame around it to hold it that, out of two by fours. And I thought, well, since I'm building this frame, why not just build something nice and big to hang everything off of? So I did. And, um, and then what I used was uh, I have access to pipes, old ends of black pipe and whatnot. Um, I had a bunch of galvanized connections, and I don't think you sh should use galvanized in a tank uh, in the water, but for connecting on top like I did, I used those because they get kind of pricey and I had them. So this whole little setup will come apart pretty easy for cleaning. I can just slide everything apart. The only things that are screwed together are the uh, down here that's threaded in uh, into that T connection. But those will all slide out and then I can get some more and put them in when these when those wear out. So I have a big old car charger, battery charger, and um, right here I have a bucket that somebody gave me, a bunch of rusty tools right there, just stuck those in, haven't even turned it on yet, put the negative there, put the positive there, I put copper wire to connect everything just to get a better connection. It seemed like when I did it without it, sometimes I didn't quite get the connection I needed. I don't know why. Maybe there's some kind of weird coating on that black pipe. Um, so I uh, have a spatula there to scrape off crud off the top. Extra wire. I think a washing soda that I got at Jewel at the grocery store. Another big uh, scraper to get crud off the bottom. And I have a fan to blow the hydrogen into the neighbor's yard so it'll blow up over there instead of in, in my shop here. So what I do is I turn it on, let it go and do its thing for a few days, you know, 12 hours, 24, 36, whatever. Then I pull it out, put it in the parts washer here. I got Simple Green. I use it, well the weakest I go is half strength, one to one I mean. But uh, turn on the parts washer, and uh, I got like a brass brush and a few other kinds of brushes, and I can clean things pretty pretty well without scraping, like without damaging the metal or anything. I can soak stuff in that simple green too, since it's a simple, like it's a, a, a light paint remover. I can put things in there and soak a little bit, and then scrub it off a little, and it works really well. And then I have an industrial dishwasher upstairs that I, I can uh, run everything through so it gets smoking hot. Bring it back down and uh, blow it all off with the um, compressor. And, um, and it works really well. Um, so that's my setup. Um, I can turn on this. First, I'm going to turn off the parts washer, and I'm going to turn on this. You want to make sure that the cathode or negative is not touching the anode or positive. I got plenty of space here. That's why I went with such a big bin. I got tired of juggling in and out with a smaller setup. Um, turn it on. I've never quite figured out what the amps and all that stuff means. Um, but I should be getting some bubbles here any second. Little tiny fizzy, yeah, right. Now the reflection on the light might be bad, but maybe you can see something coming up right about there. And that's hydrogen. So if we could capture that, we could, uh, we could, uh, well, we won't talk about what we can do with that. 
but it is flammable. So I turn the fan on, just on low, just to blow it away. It's, I have a pretty big shop that is not set up yet. As you can see, I'm still building things. But uh, it's big enough and there's enough holes into the boiler room and stuff that I get enough circulation of fresh air that I'm not worried about blowing up my, my shop. So, um, yeah, that's all I can think of. I've got uh, the chain to hook everything onto, and um, and that's how it works. So, hope this is helpful to somebody who wants to get started. I, I really enjoy spooging. It's nice to have something just soaking in there for a day or two while I'm doing other things, and then I can pull it out and clean it off and polish it up or paint it or whatever and it's kind of like a little bit of candy while I'm waiting for the the bigger results to come in so and that's about all I have for this and I uh, hope this is helpful to somebody or if I've made some huge mistake and somebody can tell me I'm about to blow th something up or kill myself please let me know um, so that's that see you later